Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna be checking out the brand new Reflections track entitled From Nothing. Reflections, um, definitely a popular band in the Gent community. This is a band that I've never really gone deep into. Um, I've definitely heard a few tracks here and there, you know, mainly kind of their singles, especially from their last album. And um, yeah, I just kind of never went deeper into them. I don't know why. Um, everything I've heard from them, I have really enjoyed, but um, yeah, anyways, um, they got a new track and we're just going to be checking it out. Don't really know what to expect. I know they're really kind of masters of heaviness and ambience and that, you know, core gent feel. So that's, I guess, what I'm expecting. But um, yeah, I don't really know. Let's get into it. The drum shot. Okay. Good way to start. Fuck. That got me off guard. Drum is just fucking going. It's low. Oh! That got me good. Holy shit. You just get smacked up right away. Starting a song with just a breakdown in your face. I like it. Jesus. You fucking pterodactyl demon. I love it. Very like almost a mirror-ish in terms of just instant relentless smashing. It just keeps going. Is it really about to get heavier? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this is a hype. We're getting hyped right now. Okay, P pretty long pre-breakdown. Let's go. Those poor kids in the pit. Man. Those poor souls. No amount of showers is going to clean that filth off. That's pure filth. Those even guitars anymore? Like... That tuning, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? That caught me off guard. That's crazy, what? Big ass fucking brace it out. Jesus. Okay, okay. There there was there was reflections from nothing. Damn, okay, okay, let's huh, let's get into it. So guitar work. Definitely some, you know, drop low tune in right there. Holy shit. 
Um, it, it sounded like they were using some fucking eight string plus like a pitch shifter or something. Like it's that's that's some that's some low shit. Um, but anyways, yeah, just um, I liked the cool little innovation they did there near the end, the guitar work with the like just crazy, almost like it sounded like dissonant harmony runs they were kind of doing there. I thought that was really cool. Um, definitely fits the just what the fuck crazy non-stop brutal heavy vibe they're going with um i was kind of hoping to almost hear more of that um because the rest of the song like there, there was definitely cool riffs and, and all that but everything was just so low and just just so chaotic and kind of more just a breakdown instead of having more of the, i guess riff focus which again like it, it works um it just it kind of you, you kind of lose where you are during the song, especially like that. You know, the guitar work was just a lot of just breakdown. There was cool grooves here and there. I liked that, you know, definitely needed in a song like this, which is just, you know, nonstop zeros in your face, that heaviness, that punching. Um, but um, I was hoping for, again, either more guitar melodies, guitar riffs, or even just, you know, if because they went this route, some more polyrhythmic grooves that were really catchy. You know, like if you're going that Mashuga kind of style, um, at least then it's like rhythmically things are going to be catchy, even if you're not going to be going with the melodic row, which is completely fine, right? So um, again, I, I liked the guitar work. It just, um, from what I have heard from them, I, I first of all didn't expect this at all. Um, I think this is maybe more reminiscent of their, their older stuff. I was expecting them to be more based off the, the last, I guess, album I heard um but um yeah that, that, that's kind of it i was just hoping for a bit more of that melody infusion um but i don't know it's, it's tough too because like you can tell the purpose of this track was just hey guys you know we we were gone for a while we're back let's just smash you in the fucking face right um so you know with that purpose i get why there's not a lot of the melody stuff there but at least maybe again some of the some more you know groovy ish riffs thrown in there or even more that if, if you are going that full crazy route include more of that dissonant stuff that they included near the end i guess that's my point right but again cool guitar work cool guitar work right definitely fit the vibe of the song no doubt with that um drum work yo a drummer mvp first of all holy shit that drummer was going off <laughs> um i loved the start really cool it really sets you up to just get smashed for like how long is this four minutes for almost four minutes straight that drummer is really setting you up to get smashed non-stop love the inclusion of the ghost notes definitely needed in a song like this to add that variety that subtle rhythmic variety that fun um so drummer i think um he absolutely fucking crushed it with this stuff the accents were perfect and, again, definitely needed with a song that's just so brutal fucking in your face. Uh, and the grooves he was throwing down, really solid. Really solid. So, yeah. Bass. I'm sure there was a bassist. I'm sure there was a bassist. Um, vocals. Damn. Um, I, I Again, I don't know much about this band. I don't even know if this is the same vocalist <laughs> from the last album um you know last album the guy kind of had like that sing scream style and he had like very like almost like singularity north lane style lows and things like that this guy is just pure brutal as fuck again could be the same guy i i don't actually know um but regardless this dude fucking went all out jesus just highs lows all that i would have liked to hear a bit more variety maybe with his you know what what he can do with his voice even just some variety with some of the layers because a lot of the layers you know they're great they are heavy as fuck i love how he started it off with just that high um, or it was mid low it was either high low or mid low kind of scream layered right at the start there just gotcha i i got shooketh if you would say that right away um but again just some more of that variety i think would have um I don't know, amped it up a little for me, especially if, again, if it is that same vocalist, I would have loved to hear some of the stuff that I heard from, from, um, you know, that last, that last album in terms of the, the techniques he was, he was messing with, um, or just like the sounds itself. Right. Um, but yeah, like he, he did a great job. Definitely kept the instrumental pumping, kept it interesting. And uh, he matched that energy perfectly. I like that when they did that kind of pre breakdown break, he was kind of doing the talking, vocal style thing which you know definitely fits gets you pumped up you could tell like kids are gonna be fucking oh they're gonna be ready 
right during that pre-breakdown. They're like, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's smash. And he's kind of hyping you up. That was very well done. Um, but yeah, like again, great job on vocals. It was just hoping to hear a bit more of that variety, even in a chaotic song like this, if they're all w- with them, um, what I'm assuming their purpose was just to bring, come back. Hey guys, we're going to smash you in the face with just a nonstop barrage of bleh in your face, right? Heaviness and, and all that, right? That's kind of it. So overall audio, <laughs> cool track. Uh, very fun first listen. You know, this is a track that people are going to have that first listen and very much enjoy it and be like, what the fuck just happened? Like, what just happened to me, right? Uh, in terms of like a repeatable, you know, p- putting on nonstop repeat song, maybe maybe not for me. Uh, for people who just kind of, I guess, are more into just that brutal nonstop heaviness, like that, I'm sure it'll be great for them. Um, but yeah, I guess that that's the, that's my, I guess, biggest issue with the song is that it's great it's a it's just a smash you in the face kind of thing but it doesn't necessarily have anything that's going to keep me coming back to want to get smashed in the face the same way from this song particularly i guess um but um definitely i I, i'm glad i listened to it because that is a very fun and shocking jesus track to get you you know on that on that first listen um you know structurally I don't know what was happening. There was a lot of breakdowns, some pre-breakdowns. I don't know what the structure was. Regardless, definitely told a hype story, if, if that makes sense. You know, like, they definitely built, you know, that that hype factor. It was just going like, okay, higher, 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 that pre-breakdown, higher, higher, higher. So it never felt like there was any kind of drop-off moment. It did feel like everything was increasing a very fair amount. So based on that, I'd say it's a well-done structure because that's really the whole point of a structure is to just tell a story and this was definitely it felt like a story like when the song finished it felt complete um and it it didn't feel like anything necessarily felt out of place so i'd I'd say very well done on the structure again even though i don't actually (laughs) know where the parts really are um but just in terms of telling the story and the flow of everything it was very well done um yeah video wise cool definitely you know it definitely fits this the song in there kind of they're like in a tunnel or something there let me see yeah, a little cool. I don't know if this is like they made this or this is just a place they found, but um, cool kind of background to to suit everything. It fits nicely. Um, and just, yeah, just a simple kind of here's your band member smashing you in the face. Great for, you know, being away for a long time and coming back and, and releasing a track, you know, just kind of showing all the familiar faces and um, whatnot, which, again, I, I, I hope most of these are familiar faces. I don't I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but, yeah, just to showcase the musicians that, like, hey, we're back. I, I think that's great. So, yeah, good, good job on the video work. Um, and, yeah, so overall, man, good track, heavy track, a banger smash you right in the face kind of track. Um, overall... For what they were going for is what I'll judge this. So for the for, for the banger smash you in the face kind of almost shock factor kind of track is how I'm going to rate this. Not as like a kind of overall track that would I keep coming back to. Just in terms of that banger smash you in the face, you know, shock factor kind of track. They did a very good job. Again, I was just hoping for more of that grooviness and uh, just catchiness things to, to kind of keep me coming back. And also to almost understand what's happening a little more often than just being like what is going on nonstop. I give this 3.5 nicks or 3.5 3.75 nicks out of 5. I'm not I'm not sure. Um you know, cool track, definitely a fun track. That, that's what I'll I'll put it as. Um uh, but I'm hoping for again some with what other tra- whatever other tracks they're going to release, some of that more melodic um hints of stuff that I, I got from that last album because that's that's the stuff I personally really like from them. Um, and it's just something that I think will make people keep coming back a little easier. Um, but again, like their, their marketing plan might be, let's release that crazy smashing hit that just smash you in the face on right away. And then everything else will be more of along those lines. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But regardless, I am excited to see what these guys put out because they're, de- they're fucking talented. Like all of the musicians are absolutely just monsters at what they're doing. The vocalist kills it with his craft. Drummer's crazy. The guitarists are smashing and the bassist, if there is a bassist, <laughs> I think there is. Uh, I'm not sure actually. Um, and the bassist, if he's there, is also, you know, putting in work. So I just, <laughs> I hope to, um, yeah, I just hope to hear more of kind of that overall stuff. But um, cool first track, cool, cool first, um, 
first listen track. But yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like this song, go show these guys the love. I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the description. You know, go leave a like on on the original video. Go um go share it. Go go see them live. You know, try not to die when you're you know in the pit and whatnot. But um. Yeah, if you like this video, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and be sure to leave a comment about, you know, tell me your thoughts on this song. I'd really like to know. I definitely had some interesting kind of like, not interesting, but just like kind of mixed feelings on it. But yeah, let, let me know down below. I'm going to try to listen to this a couple more times and see if I change um, any of those thoughts. But, um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think down below. And uh, yeah, much love to my Patreons for the support. I really appreciate it. If you yourself are interested in becoming a Patreon, there's going to be a link on the screen and description down below. Thank you guys for the support. If you want to check out more of these videos, click right over over here. I'm, I'm pretty sure somewhere over here or over here. It's, it's one of the sides. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.